Aloha talo for and yaurana and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kanani Loki Lai Filiata and Jukahanui Aswenga and I'm your favorite Polynesian dancer here on YouTube. And today is another talking video. I wanted to talk about the things that happen to dance teachers or teachers in general that like we don't really know is part of our job description, but it's coming to us, um, as you can tell from the title. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it just came to my mind and when I make these talking videos, I really just try to turn on the camera when I have something to talk about instead of like jotting down a bunch of plans like i can't i'm not a person that plans i get stressed out the more i plan and i feel better and, and more free and more authentic when i just like shoot things out of my mouth and like figure it out you know you know what i mean i don't know if that sounded right but whatever anyway so i wanted to talk about that and i'll just jump straight into it one of the things that they don't tell you when you're going to become a teacher and i'm assuming it's all teachers for the most part is that you kind of become like a therapist like you a little bit like kind of come you kind of become that like shoulder to cry on that therapist that safe haven like this pre presentation of you as like this teacher because like how we learn about our teachers right when we learn who our teachers are we know that we listen to them we know that we look up to them we know that they guide us right like when you're in kindergarten preschool like the beginning of life you have these teachers they're also your parents or um these teachers that are your school teachers and things like that your coaches anything like that your auntie you know the adult figure in your life there's just this innate power imbalance type of vibe not power imbalance but there's this like you're over here and i'm down here and i learn from you like anything i can learn from you i'm gonna learn from that person i'm looking up and down as in like that's a teacher this is the, the person the human the student um and so it makes sense to me when i started to realize that people were confiding in me and like finding a safe space to speak their worries when it came to dance with me and their concerns when it came to dance with me and it makes sense because i was that person i was that student as well now let me put some more details in there and more examples to make it more clear basically like i'll be like getting uh, okay this is how it started i booked a bunch of private lessons which are one-on-one -on -one lessons just as me and one student over zoom like right when covid began um, i just that's how i started my classes online i would only do uh, one on one lessons and they were popping off everything was beautiful and then I started to realize like low key like 50% of the lessons I got we didn't physically dance we I like to say like spiritually danced or mentally got ourselves ready to dance like I would get on these zoom calls with dancers and they would just tell me their life they would tell me their worries about dance they would ask me like how do I get back into dancing when this is and that like so many questions that came my way that I didn't know would come my way as a dance teacher being on zoom and, and stuff like that has given me so many more students to connect with so i've been learning so much more about being a dance teacher and before i didn't have to like i just got to say like five six seven eight one two ready go like the pep talking teacher part the like hyping up students the like you know staying disciplined on students whatever like that more connected thing with your student was something i learned like when you're more like you and your student are together and in this together before i feel like i was a teacher where i was like okay you dance five six seven eight okay goodbye but now like i get to know my students more they talk to me more it's so crazy and it's a crazy shift in my brain and then i realized that my responsibilities as a teacher kept growing oh my gosh and i was like girl you gotta watch what you say girl you gotta be on your p's and q's like girl as in me like i had to like really amp up my myself to become a better leader and teacher to these people and when i'd get on these private lessons back to that i get to on these private lessons and they would just start telling me about their lives i would have students like new mothers um who didn't understand their bodies anymore they were coming back to dancing after being a mother mind you i've never had children so like me trying to give advice to this person felt not like it felt like I wasn't the person to give the advice at first, but then I realized that I have a little bit to offer. You know, obviously these people are asking me not because I'm like, I'm not a random person on the street. They feel like they can get advice from me. So like a lot of the things I would say for people that I couldn't fully relate to when it came to, for example, having children, but I can relate to them as a dancer before they had their children. So I would try to, you know, tell that dancer to like kind of mentally and spiritually go backwards a little bit in their dancing and try to like, 
you know remember why what who where when and why do you dance like all of those really important questions the intention discovering why we're dancing and like sticking true to ourselves. you know staying committed to why we do things and then wanting to do them um like that would be like kind of like the realm of advice i would give back to these type of dancers but man when i'd go home i'd be thinking to myself like am i really that person that should be giving this advice and then and then i had to remind myself again like yeah dude like my mom i'll never forget my mom and my dad were literally second parents to hundreds of people like my my parents were dance teachers dance instructors but at our studio they were called mama and papa everybody knew my mom as mama and papa especially in like the og days the original days of our dance studio that's how everybody knew each other or knew my parents and i remember thinking to myself like how cool that my parents have all these kids there was a part of me that was a little bit jealous of course i'm a child and my parents have a thousand kids and are taking care of thousands of people and it made me a little bit like jealous at times but like as i grew up in my life um i learned to like really love those bits and pieces of of my parents and i'm really proud that my parents were those people for other people now I'm that person for other people. As of course, I think it's in a minuscule way, but I receive a lot of uh, feedback and comments to me just saying like, um, like thanks for helping me and things like that. And of course, I don't really know if the words that come out of my mouth are helpful. I'm just speaking with love. And I know that if you do things with love and you do things with, with care and compassion, then there's nothing, there's not too many wrong things that can come from it. So even when I don't feel like I, I'm doing the best that I could, the, the best that I can as a dance teacher. I do know that I move with love and that's all that matters. And it's the only way I can like sleep at night and not worry and have anxiety that I'm not giving the best advice is that if in the advice I say like, you're important as a person, you're real, as you're heard, you're seen and all of those like things that you wanna hear for yourself. I have to like really practice saying that to somebody else. Now, this is my last part too with it. I wasn't this person. I'm not the friend, like low key, I'm not the friend that you go to and you ask for advice. At least I don't find myself to be that person. For my friends, like I literally wouldn't know what to say because in my mind, when people tell you things, the worst thing to say back is advice if the person doesn't want the advice. Now, when I'm a teacher and people ask me for advice, they're saying, can you give me advice on or how can you so it's a little bit different so i didn't know that i had this trait in myself but i think it probably came from my parents just watching my parents do it all the time maybe i just started speaking um and no i'm not great at it i am not a therapist but i believe in opening yourself up and being vulnerable and being free and like finding yourself and i promote that so this isn't like a, oh my God, I'm a great teacher moment. I'm just explaining what's on my mind. Things they don't tell you that you're gonna do as a teacher and school teachers. Like I know I've had school teachers. I didn't really confine them to the deepest value, but I remember thinking to myself like, wow, I wonder if I needed anything. I could probably call my school teacher for advice or I can go see them the next day for advice. Um, those are special teachers, you know, I think school teachers have it a lot harder than like I do as a dance teacher, but you know, but like those people, and I know there's a lot of people out there that will always remember that one science teacher that just told them they were good at school that day and it really changed their life. And I'm realizing that I'm in that like line of people that if I were to say, you're a great dancer, if I were to say, you know what, you can do this, then then maybe that dancer will have a better day. Just because I'm a dance teacher and I would like, you know, when you think of your teachers and when you think of somebody who taught you something, you kind of think of them a little bit like, oh my God, you're my teacher and I'm your student. You're like looking up to them. I'm not saying people look up to me, you're crazy. I don't know how to fully like say that in words. Like, but I'm that kind of person to somebody else. And like, I didn't know I would be that person in, like to somebody else. I saw a TikTok the other day that was, um, I want to be mysterious so bad, but I can't shut up. That's me. I literally think that I'm like, nah, I'm like this little person that nobody knows. But then y'all be no, y'all be quoting me. Like people will quote me and be like, oh, there's this one time you said, and I was like, you heard me? Like what? And then, so I'm just kind of like coming to realization who I am in someone else's life and the responsibility that I have and everything like that. Um, uh, and yeah. I don't know. 
I don't know, I got a text and I got distracted. But basically things that people don't tell you that's gonna happen to you when you are a dance teacher is you become a therapist also. And that is really interesting, don't you think? I don't know. And then, I don't know if it's my personality or if it's the, the teacher aspect of like my role in someone else's life. I don't know what it is, but people be telling me their life. And I'm so grateful, please don't get me wrong. If you're one of the people that told me your life, tell me your life. I will never tell anybody your life. Like we are in love, <laughs> how do I say this? I don't wanna edit this. So like, I'm like, how do I say those words? Cause, because I don't know how to speak. I literally don't know how to speak. I like say things that are all mumble jumbo and I'm trying to get my point across. Basically like, I don't want this to make come off. Like I don't wanna hear you talk. I literally, when I go home, I feel full as a human being. I feel like I, you know, did my due diligence as like a person in society by taking time to listen to somebody else. I feel like I, you know, made my parents proud. I made the dancer that I'm talking to proud. Like, I feel like it's the right thing to do. So please don't feel intimidated. Like when pe when my dancers open up to me, it makes me feel like I'm doing my job right. And it makes me feel like I'm creating the space that I want. I want the space of like freedom and joy and expression. I want the space of vulnerability. And like, when you guys tell me your lives, man, does it feel good. Uh, but I go home a little bit like, I hope I said the right thing. I hope I said the right thing to them. I don't know if I did, but I don't know. And I've recently received some really nice messages that are affirming what I've done. And I don't think there's anything shameful to feel proud that you're doing good. And I don't want to feel like um, I can't celebrate that. And so as much as I want to celebrate you, I want to celebrate myself. As much as I want to celebrate myself, I want to celebrate you. So I hope that if you're one of my students that I speak to and you confide in me, I hope you feel heard. And um, I want to thank my students also for making me feel heard because you're obviously coming to me to hear what I have to say and my input. And it makes me feel really good as a person and as a, as a human being, as a woman, as a teacher. And so, yeah, I think that's a lot of beautiful things. And these are things that they don't tell you is going to happen to you if you become a teacher. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. That's it. No editing. I'm going to post this today, I think. We'll see. But I hope you guys have a beautiful day and take care of your family. Make sure you text and love on your loved ones because there's a day that'll come and they won't be there. And man, that sucks. And, um, and I recently had that moment. So I just really want to promote that you love your loved ones and you be there for them. Okay. I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.